Hello, I'm Yu Pyeongman Lee on Netspresso Product Engineer at Nota AI. This tutorial demonstrates the optimization process of an AI model using Netspresso, Nota AI's hardware aware AI model optimization platform. Here's the breakdown of what we cover. The table presents creating usage for each module. In this tutorial, 375 credits were utilized. Before we dive in, let's create a Nespresso. Visit Nespresso.ai and click on sign in and then click sign up for free to get started. Follow the prompt to register, providing the required information for account. Once you've completed the registration, check your inbox for an activation email. Now, let's walk through the installation process for Nespresso. Take note of the prerequisite configuration required. After setting up the prerequisite requirements, install Nespresso by running the pipeline install Nespresso command. After installing Nespresso, log in with your account detail. First, we will begin by training the detection model using the trainer. We downloaded the traffic size data set in YOLO format and utilized it for training. Once the dataset has been successfully downloaded, declare the trainer. Enter the task you want to train. Currently, trainer supports three computer tasks. Image classification, object detection, and semantic segmentation. Next, provide the dataset details, including the dataset name, passes for the training, validation dataset, and class information for ID mapping. You can verify the path of the dataset as follows. You can choose the model to train from the available option. Use the available model's property to explore the models. For this tutorial, we'll be training the YOLO action. Enter the model name and image size. Also, set the augmentation to be used. In this tutorial, we will only apply this site. Set the hyperparameter for training, such as epochs, batch size, optimizer, scheduler, and more. Finally, enter the project name and GPU number you want to use. If you're using a single GPU, specify only one GPU number. For multiple GPUs, indicate the GPU numbers separated by comma. You can monitor the training progress through the training logs. After converting the trained models to TF write, we will check the model's latency on the Raspberry Pi 4 Utilize the converter to convert the ONIS model to TF write. Enter the input model path of directory path, target framework, and device name. After completing the tape write to conversion process, proceed with benchmarking in the Raspberry Pi 4B. Enter the input model path and the target device name for benchmarking. The benchmark is now complete with a confirmed latency result of 943 milliseconds. Let's now target achieving a latency of under 300 milliseconds on the Raspberry Pi 4B for our trained model. We will need to generate and optimize the model using the pressure to accomplish this. We will use automatic compression as our method to optimize the model. Here, we will proceed with the three compression ratios 0.3, 0.5, and 0.7. The input parameters required are the input model path, uh, for the path, model input information, and compression ratio. After converting each model to TF write, following the same procedure as the original model, we will benchmark the latency of each model on the Raspberry Pi 4B. Once the latency measurement for all models is complete, 
will compare the latency and plot across the different compression ratios. We can see that a compression ratio of 0.7 meets our target latency. And you can also verify the plots for each ratio. After compressing the model with a compression ratio 0.7, let's retrain it and verify its performance. We train before slightly from the initial training process. When declaring the trainer, you must input the YAML path. First, we will generate a retrainer using the hyperparameter of the original model. Then input the path of the compressed model in the set FX model function. Define the hyperparameter for retraining and commence training as usual. You can check the training progress through the following logs. After retraining is completed, let's compare the performance of both the original and compressed models using various metrics. Each subplot represents a specific metric. While the performance of the specific metric shows a slight improvement, Model optimization progress can be observed through the profiling age. Plus decreased by approximately 4.5 times, the parameter decreased by approximately 10.5 times, and the model size decreased by approximately 9.6 times. To conclude, this tutorial has covered the process of optimizing AI models with Nespresso. Model optimizers using Nespresso maintain their operation levels while achieving significant enhancement, a uh, 4.7 times boost in the enhanced speed, a uh, 1.6 times decrease in power consumption, and 6.6 times co cost savings. Kickstart your AI model optimization journey with Nespresso.